Rise and Shine with Robbo and Becky on Vision. Well, Trina Laidlaw joins us on the phone this morning. Good morning. Hello, how are you? Yeah, good. All the better for talking to you. You're getting ready to do something pretty fantastic. <laughs> yes, yeah. I've um, I've just come back for, well, not just, but about two months ago, came back from West Africa um, to serve with Mercy Ships and I'm um, um, in the process of going back again for two years in wow. January. That's wow. amazing. So how did this all come about? How did you think, yep, that's it, I'm going on Mercy Ships? Yeah, so it's a bit of a bit of a journey, um, like a lot of people that go on the ship. Um, so I've been a dietitian, um, that's my role on the ship. Um, so I've been a dietitian in Australia for about 11 years. Mm-hmm. Um, and so most of that time has been um, spent working in hospitals um, in the South Burnett region, which is about three hours northwest of Brisbane. Um, so since I was a teen, I've had a a strong desire to use whatever skill I had in mission um, and I've been aware of mercy ships um, as my parents supported them when I was younger. Mm-hmm. Um, and so about five years ago, uh, I started looking into mercy ships and how my skills as a dietitian could fit with their vision and mission vision and mission of um, bringing hope and healing to the people of Africa through free surgery. Um, so in April 2018, um, I applied for dietitian um, role, which is also yep. um, involved feeding infants um, oh. and was pretty confident that I would be going that um, then next year. Um, but little did I know that um, it would be a near four-year four mm. wait. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Go. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, um, has COVID it, played a yeah. part in that delay? Like, was it would it have been four years anyway, or has that sort of been the complicated factor? Um, it's probably been about half the time. So okay. about two years of that would have been COVID. So um, yeah. So um, probably um, yeah. It's, it certainly has lengthened the time. Um, so, but yeah, the four year wait was a very much stark comparison to the one month preparation I had to to get over oh, there right. once um, I got offered the wow. position. That's amazing. Um, and so it was so all hit was, the ground running. Yes, and so it was around Christmas time. So when all the services you need to get overseas um, are, are starting to close for holidays. Yeah. Wow. Um, so, um, but yeah, through prayers and miracles, I um, made it to West um, Africa, to Senegal, um, to serve with um, Mercy Ships on the Africa Mercy vessel for six months. So God's pretty amazing in all that. That's so, so good. That's great to hear. Yeah, and yeah. so obviously you've enjoyed it enough. You you want to keep uh, or you want to go back and do it a bit more of an extended uh, trip. So what's the... You know, like, is there much more preparation yeah. for you, or is it just about a matter of just waiting until the time's ready? So I've just finished an overnight course that everyone who goes long term um, needs to do. It's overnight because it's in the states, so I've been uh, doing yeah. it in Australia. <laughs> uh-huh. um, so, um, so that that's a requirement, um, and then I'm also um, raising um, financial support. So everyone that goes on Mercy Ships is um, is a volunteer. Um, so need to raise support for insurance, um, flights, um, fees to live on the ship, vaccinations, and um, personal expenses. So wow. that's one of my other big um, big projects while I'm home. Yeah, wow. I can imagine. So do you have to raise yeah. all the money up front or can it be sort of like you've got some and then more comes in as you, while you're on the trip? Yeah, so people can um, make a uh, like one-off donation um, and um, and make a or make a big amount a big um, donation up front. Um, other people have also pledged to give monthly so that will oh, come in um, cool. while I'm over there. That's yeah. That's great. I think it's yeah. great that you've like you mentioned that when you're a teenager, you kind of had this, you know, dream that sort of got dropped in your heart, but you've actually mm. followed through. I know a lot of people that will have these sorts of aspirations when they're younger, but then they get, you know, into work life and, you know, I guess just things happen and they mm. never really go back to it or they, or they never follow through. But it's great that you've actually, you know, followed through on that and, uh, you know, actually uh, seeing it uh, come to reality, which is terrific. It's certainly, um, I say it's, I've, I've yeah, read a lot of things um, just in this time even now about, yeah, a lot of people have these visions and I think it's the hardest thing is taking that step, first step in making it happen. Mm. Um, and there's certainly were times where I was like, this is, 
in the four years. This is obviously not what God has for me, but um, yeah, just I'd encourage anyone to just keep pushing if that's um, if that's something I, I call it. I, I felt for me it was a tug in my heart, and um, I think if it kept pulling. Um, and God was affirming it, um, keep pushing into it. So, mm. yeah, it won't, awesome. won't be easy, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. So what, what was it like the, the time that you've already done, the six months? Like what were some of the mm-hmm. you know, experiences that you uh, yeah, come back uh, thinking, I'll, I'll never forget that, you know, like one of, some of those yeah. memorable moments? Yeah. So I think um, just the... Um, so some of the, the stories of the patients, so a lot of them... Um, the surgeries that are done, uh, um, patients have had these conditions um, or, for example, tumours in their face. Mm. Some of them might have had them for 10 years. Um, And um, they start off the same sort of, like the the origin of the problem is the same sort of thing as back here, but they just can't get the access that they need to get it fixed. Um, And so just their appreciation of what we do and their um, just their thankfulness is um and it just even some of them crying um mm. just with gratitude is just it just really um i think that affirms my reason for going um and um just mm. how even if you only see them once um for one appointment they are um just so thankful for for what we do um and having access to what they need that's great that's so good mm. yeah amazing and so have you been able yeah. to do, like, because you said you, you're a dietitian, so when you're on mm. the ship, is that what mm. you're working in in that field or what are you actually doing um, as your role? Yeah, so um, so I went on um, as the dietitian. Um, so um, so the most common patients, I, my main role, I guess, for patients is um, <laughs> to get them um, well-nourished enough mm. to have surgery. A lot of them mm, need to wow. gain weight before wow. surgery. Okay. Um, so we help in that. Um, so, yeah, as I mentioned, a lot of the patients with tumours around their face, they often have difficulty eating. So we um, work with them to um, get supplements and um, enough calories in to get that weight up. Um, so, And then a lot of babies who come in um, with cleft palate, so they've got a hole between their mouth and their nose. So we assist them with um, feeding so that they can get to the weight they need to mm. be for, um, for having that repair. Um, and then we follow those patients up after their surgery to... Wow. Um, make sure they're eating okay and um, and uh, yeah, making sure that we're doing what we can to help with the healing and preventing complications mm. after surgery. That's awesome. Great. What a yeah. great thing. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah I guess it, all these, because you don't often think about that. Like you just think, oh, yeah, someone's got to get a, yeah. a surgery. But there's lots yeah, of these lots sort of things. things before and after that uh, need to be considered as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a big, um, there's a big team, um, and yeah, there's sort of, yeah, a lot of um, processes and things that um, I suppose because Mercy Ships wants to provide like first, first world um, care as much as they can. So they, they aim to have the resources there that we would have in any Western hospital. So um, yeah, there's, there's certainly a lot of opportunities for healthcare professionals mm. outside of probably what most people think is just nurses and surgeons and doctors. Yeah, mm. that's great. That's so good. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing a bit of that, Trina. It's so encouraging yeah. to hear. And, uh, yeah, we certainly pray that uh, God will bless you as you prepare. And, yeah, that obviously the funds will come in that you can uh, head off on the journey. But, mm. um, yeah, we're mm. uh, excited for uh, the adventure that I'm sure you'll be having over the next couple of years. Will it be in the same region or will it will, – because obviously the – I'm assuming the ship moves around. Do you know where you're going to be over that couple of years? Yeah, so we. Um, what usually happens um, is uh, most of the time the ship will stay in one um, country for about 10 months, um, but it's going to be a little bit different next year. So Mercy Ships is entering a new exciting phase. When I was in Senegal, I um, was able to witness the inauguration of their brand new vessel, the Global Mercy. Um, so I will go back onto um, that ship when I go back next year. Um, and so we'll go back to Senegal for about four months um, and then she'll have a bit of a break to, to do what she needs to do to get ready to to then go to Sierra Leone um, mm. for the rest of 2023 um, and 2024. Um, wow. And then after that, we're not sure. <laughs> That's Great. amazing. It's so wow. cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's pray. Well, yeah. Thanks for sharing a bit of that uh, with us. And we, yeah, do pray uh, God's favour and uh, blessing on you as you uh, get ready for that. And I'm sure you'll have some great adventures to share with us over that couple of years as well. I'm looking forward to it. And, um, yeah, thank you so much for your prayers um, for myself and also the, the crew, uh, the rest of the crew. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.